There's eight billion of us, and there's probably as many pigeons. I got a date. Fine. Would, would you prefer a date or five dollars? Some of them can be pruned, so I'd rather five dollars. <laughs> Dundas Square is one of Toronto's strangest places, the kind where so much is going on that most people choose to ignore it. I couldn't believe more people weren't smiling. The guy was yelling like, the devil's shit smells bad, the devil's shit smells bad, while the guy was holding pigeons. This is what chaos looks and feels like, yet people still come here from all around the world. Who are these people that seem to always be around? And how do they navigate the level of noise? The first man I spoke to was some kind of bird whisperer. I asked him how he could tame these birds in such a noisy environment. Well, everybody knows this in their heart. Everyone can do this. You look in the eyes of a creature and you offer it a bit of food and the creature will come right to you. But why Dundas, of all places, to practice pigeon taming? I've done this in the back country. I always wanted to know if you could do it right here on Young Dundas, and you can. It's clear that trust can be established even in such a urban landscape as this. For the pigeon man, it seemed the noise was part of the appeal. I'll do this right in Times Square and I'll see if anybody catches the idea. But before long, his real motivation started to become clear. I offer a way to stop abortion. I offer a way to stop war. If public displays of pigeon feeding was a way to sell an ideology, what was the point of saxophone playing in an area where you can barely hear yourself? I was curious about how hard it must be to adapt to these surroundings. I noticed you were playing along with his song earlier. Sure. I wanted to know if that was like coordinated. That was not coordinated at all. When there's other noise, you kind of got to compete with it. So we just play along here. Out of all the places to pick, you picked the noisiest place of all of Toronto to play. Yes. Well, sometimes I like to challenge myself and what's the point of playing at home by yourself, right? We just, uh, we keep sharing the soul. This is uh, Sharon. Her name's Sharon. How long have you been busking? Oh, very, uh, maybe 15 days. I just uh, chose to get rid of my uh, day job and see if I can make 20 bucks for some beer and food and I'll be happy as well. well. If you could play in front of anyone or in any place in the whole world, where would it be? In front of my grandma's in her backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's it, my grandma. Shout out, Marnie. The next person I spoke to came all the way here from Pakistan. And after helping him capture the moment, I was eager to get his perspective. How do you feel about Canada? Uh, it's uh, good because here different culture, different people, mixture, so looking very good. What do you think about Dundas? It's very good. It's good? Yeah, very good. Uh, even with uh, people yelling and, and, and doing stuff and it's crowded and, and dirty, it's yeah. good? Yeah, it's good. And this man wasn't the only newcomer with this optimistic point of view. What do you think about Dundas Square? It's quite colorful. Colorful? Yeah. What do you think of all the people around here? They're enjoying their life, so I can't judge anyone. What do you think of Canada? It's good. Better than India? Can't say. And what do you want to do for, for a job when, when you're done? Uber. Oh, right yeah. now. Uber right now. I did Uber, by the way, for a long time. Carmore was here for work reasons, and only on a short break. One more time for the... <laughs> but I wanted to talk to a worker whose location was less flexible. And where are you from? I'm from India. Do you ever get annoyed of listening to, like, this guy all yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, all day. I I'm gonna keep my eyes on Jesus. Do you like working in this area, Dundas? It's town on Toronto, man, full of junkies. Is it like this in India at all? No, India's not like this, pretty much. India's it's, like, much better than this. Security guards don't ever deal with this stuff. The security guard, unfortunately, for him couldn't escape the private exhibition. You got the devil inside of him. You have the devil inside you! There's so much going on to the point where it doesn't really matter anymore. I mean, you could literally start holding on to pigeons and yelling like that and people still don't care because there's so many. It's just super interesting. I don't know if that's a bad thing. So now that we've heard from some of the Dundas dwellers, it was clear that there were many different motives for them being here. It's amazing what you can learn about people just by asking no matter how much noise tries to get in the way. So next time you see someone who strikes your curiosity, just talk to them and hope they don't try to sell you pamphlets. 
So you know what to do, if say someone runs in and starts breaking in, what do you do? Just kick him out of the store. If the situation is getting more like bad, then just arrest. And what do you? What if they say no? What if they have a knife? We, we have the power to arrest them. You have the power to arrest them? Yep. What great. if they say no, you can't arrest me? We can't do anything brother, we have use of force. <laughs> <laughs>